I've been working on these, our two lovely shepherd's hats. My aim is to fit out the inside. It doesn't look great, I've got to be honest. Such a basic mistake. Hello, Muddy. You've got bigger since the last video. Today, we're back at the Shepherd's Hut. Now, we haven't been here in a long time, and that's because we've been waiting for this. Some lovely, wany-edged English oak. You love it. You're excited, because we're going to build such an exciting thing. A shelf. No, it doesn't quite sound that exciting, but I'm hoping that this will be the best shelf I've ever made. And that's because, hang on, I've got one more bit, one more bit. And that's because I'm gonna try and build a tree shelf. I am also hoping that it will be the most exciting shelf I'll probably ever build. I'm also surprised at myself for being so excited for building a shelf. But it's going to be a fancy shelf, so that's fine. Yes. Always ruining the shelves. Whoa, so fast. <sighs> Welcome to the channel of a bumbling Englishman oh. who is trying to learn how to build mad cabins. This is my tiny house in an attempt to start a tourism business in the Cotswolds of the UK. <laughs> it's actually working. So subscribe and stick around because I have absolutely no idea what I am going to make. Muddy, come. Good boy. Specifically, we are working inside this shepherd's hut. No, in. Muddy, come. In. We're working inside, not outside. Muddy, come. Here, come, sit, sit. Try that again. Specifically, we are working inside this shepherd's hut. Okay, off you go. With this wall here. Oh, <laughs> oh careful, careful. Oh God. Now, blank walls give you an opportunity to do something mad. Mad is good. Mad is fun. But mad also means complicated. And I'm not the most experienced woodworker in the world. So I'm going to draw what I think would look good and then just try and make it somehow. A tree obviously needs to start on the floor, the base of the trunk. And because of this bed frame, it's going to have to be down in this little slot here. Muddy, you're being, you're ru Muddy, oi! So I'm thinking that if the trunk has to start there, it should be a bit of a windswept tree. Sort of down there, going up above Muddy and round. <laughs> And then maybe like the branches could be useful, like maybe a branch down here could be where you can put your phone, you know, like a bedside table branch. And then maybe up there we can have books and all sorts.
What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, I should put the drawing on the computer. Let's put the drawing on the computer. You're right. Not good enough. On paper. Sit. Good boy. Poor. Good boy. Good boy. So from my calculations, I've got to muddy. <laughs> my calculations, I've got to cut about 42 separate little pieces from all this timber. It's quite a lot, it's going to be lots of little bits. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, I'm not sure. I'm going to cut them with a straight edge now and then sort of lay them out on the floor and then cut the angles to try and get it all to fit together. Again, no idea if that's the right way to do it but it's the way that makes sense in my head. So I'll give it a go. I'm going to mark it, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> cut and then I'm going to tick off the cut on the list that I made, tick and then I'm going to mark the piece that I've cut, mark it, put it over here and then hopefully it should all be in number order and I could just lay it out on the floor and it should make a tree shelf. When I put it like that it must just be so simple. I'm definitely going to get it wrong, I always do, but I can fix it again afterwards. <laughs> It would be quite boring if it went perfectly right every single time. Lost where I am, I forgot to take them off. I knew this was going to happen. You idiot, Jacob! This must be that one. Nope, that's the wrong one. Turns out I can't count. So, got the fire lit, we're inside, cosy. I'm gonna try and see if all my cutting and measuring actually turned out to work. So we're gonna lay it out on this floor here. See if it looks like a tree, I suppose. This is the moment, Muddy. I need to install a hook somewhere. I've got no coat hook out. Okay, this is the trunk. Oh. 
Please don't eat my tree shelf. No. Ah, ah. Come. Ooh, that seemed to work. I cut all these with a straight edge, which means that when I put them together like this, it's very clunky and it doesn't fit, doesn't slot together piece to piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to go one by one, measure the angle and cut the angle, and then hopefully it'll all squeeze together and slot together. So time for lots more little cuts. Well, it's a new day and I got everything done that I needed to do yesterday. So, today is the exciting day. It's the assembling day. So they're all cut, they're all angled correctly, they've been planed down and sanded. Muddy's in his crate watching me because I know he's going to knock them over. But we're ready to go. I'm just going to sweep that under there. So initially what I'm going to try and do is sort of glue and screw them together so that once it's all dried I can pick it up and attach it to the wall all in, as one tree I guess. Got the fire lit, it's proper winter today, it's cold, it's going to be a good day. My tree shelf is glued and screwed. Ah. Once the glue is dried, I want to round off some of these angular edges and try and make it a bit smoother, but maybe it doesn't even need it. It looks great. And I'm going to oil it, and I'm going to put in some more supports on some of these angles so it's stronger. And then I guess I'm going to try and lift it up off the floor, put it on the wall. Tree shelf. Look at all that twisted, knotted oak. Mm. So, this is currently where we are with our tree shelf. It's, um, you're a bit distracting, Mud Mud, if I'm honest. 
So, where was I? This is where we are at with the tree shelf. I like it, I'm very happy with it. I'm not happy with the strengthening structure of it. It's all glued and screwed together, but all this weight of all this oak here is sort of coming down to some of these angles here. It's quite a lot of pressure. So I want to strengthen that up. And I'm going to strengthen that up with this bit of ply. We're going to get it outside, we're going to get it on the floor, and we're going to draw around this and try and make this shape out of ply. And then I'm going to glue and screw it in from behind so it should provide it with real good structure and make it much more rigid. What do you think? Do you think it's going to look good? Yay! All right. Ply is now instantly wet and muddy. Muddy. <laughs> So good job we're painting this ply. Oh my god, I'm, stop, hang on, I'm wedged in as well. <laughs> Keep going. Ah! Our tree shelf is outside and it's on the ply. So I'm just going to draw around the whole thing with a bit of width for some extra strength. This is probably going to be a time lapsable thing, I reckon. Wow, that shape looks absolutely terrible. Wow, that looks awful. This shape, which looks terrible, I am hoping will not look terrible <laughs> when, uh, when it's cut out and painted. I think that looks really good. Well, well, I'm going to paint it the same colour as the wall in there. Hopefully that means it will blend in and then the actual tree itself will stand out. This is probably why projects always take way longer than you think. Because sometimes you can't get lids off paint. Well, that only took 10 minutes.
I can never open these one-handed. Um, it's something I should have admitted a long time ago, but whenever I just happen to take the lid off something in a montage or something, any of these films, nope, it's never once happened. It's because I need two hands. <laughs> there you go. I've admitted it, I'm so sorry. Oh, fair play, there's no way I could have got this off with one hand. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. It's oh. <sighs> all right, I'll retouch it up. I'll touch it up. Ah. Oh, Jacob. It's all right. Note to the editor, don't put this in because it makes me look incompetent. What I'm doing is I'm lifting it up using the bed frame and then I'm gonna screw from underneath. Hello, Maddy. You having a nice time? And he's off. I think the answer is yes. What I'm going to find out now is that actually the tree shelf I've made is really strong and I didn't need to do this whole thing. We'll see when I pick it up. Yes, hello, Maddy. Now's not the time, really. Don't take the paintbrush. Just give me one minute. Muddy. <laughs> Muddy. Muddy. You're a chaotic dog. Take your bit of wood and get out. Out. Good boy. That's pretty strong. Oh, for God's sake. I don't trust my own workmanship. Muddy! No! Muddy! I dropped all the screws. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you, dog. How can I drop all the bloody screws? Jacob Harrell! I'll just spend. 15 minutes picking up the screws and putting them back in the right boxes. That's fine, I've got loads of time. Because I don't have a real job. Because <laughs> it's this one. I want to say thank you to everyone on Patreon that has been supporting me. This is currently my only income. In fact, I don't really have an income at the moment. Um, but that's why I'm trying to start this business, so I can have one. Um, if you enjoy the videos, Please consider donating to me so I can live um, on Patreon. But thank you very much to everyone already that signed up to Patreon and uh, donates to me. It's, I get, um, I don't know, it's just really nice to think that there's some people out there that like, like these videos, I suppose. Yeah. 
So this week, dear Patreon viewers, you have paid for me to clear up the thousand screws that I just dropped on the floor. God! God! No! There is not one in the box. You crazy dog. You crazy? You crazy? Sit. Good boy. Done. How'd you go? Go have a nice time. Go! Oh my Christ. <laughs> Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Down. Wow. And here we are, the most time-consuming, complicated, and probably expensive shelf in the world. Say hello to the tree shelf. It's way better than I thought. It looks quite professional. And I do think it looks like a tree. Very pleased. Like, really, really, really pleased. You know, it's been a long, long time since I finished working on a proper woodworking project. And I think I'd forgotten the satisfaction you feel when it's over. And when it's done, and when you look at it, you're happy and pleased. It's not perfect, I know that. There's lots of tiny little bits that I might fiddle with and perfect. And I bet loads of you out there watching these videos on my channel are also doing little projects and are into woodwork. And you must know exactly what I'm feeling. The elation of finishing something and being proud and happy about it. And I actually think it's turned this shepherd's hut into a very nice place, but not particularly dynamic and interesting. I think it's completely transformed it. I actually think it has improved this hut and it feels far more handmade and original than it did before. I'm very, very, very happy. And over the last year, when I've been waiting for planning permission and all sorts, I haven't been able to do these jobs that make me quite so happy. Um, actually, one of you out there said it aged me, and it probably has aged me, if I'm honest, but right now I feel like a child again. I've got that excitement back. I'll go get Muddy, see what he thinks. What do you think? 
Would you be happy here? Would you be happy here? Are you happy that we get to? Oh. What about on this? Happy there? Maybe not. He's excited. It must be the true shelf. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and following this journey. And I promise my own cabin build, start to finish, starting from scratch, will begin soon. I'm gonna get these places done, get them ready, get them rented out, earn some money, have a little bit of income, because I um, desperately need it. If any of you wanted to support me on Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated. And we can get on with the task of cabin building. Mud muddy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. Comment about what you think of the shelf. Do you like it? What's wrong with it? What's right with it? Should I do more videos making things like this or just stick to cabin building? But hey, very happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.